I want to talk about something different. This is a piece of research from the University of Portsmouth. It has questioned 99 men and women aged between 18 and 62 in a pub to test how people rate looks after a few drinks. I am not a drinker, as you may know, but there will be a lot of people having a tipple or two or three. Uh, in fact, one member of our team is going to a place where there is a case of champagne. Uh, that, those are the kind of circles he moves in uh, tonight. And Dr Alistair Harvey from the university's Department of Psychology, University of Portsmouth, says... Alcohol is a strong predictor of sexual behaviour, often consumed before or during dates. Wow, I'm so glad he has a PhD. Uh, there are a range of possible reasons why alcohol drinkers are more inclined to engage in sex, including lack of inhibition, heightened expectations, personality traits and the beer goggles effect. So he's looking into whether beer goggles is a thing. Due to the limited research on this topic, oh look, there's an academic wants more money for more research, we ran a field experiment to help determine why people often experience an unexpected and regretted sexual escapades after having one too many. Uh, the study has been published in the Journal of Psychopharmacology. Uh, I, I can't say I'm a subscriber, but there we are. Uh, found that while alcohol did impair face symmetry detection, which is apparently uh, if someone's face looks more symmetrical, they're more attractive to you, it did not influence the judgments of attractiveness. The term beer goggles has been used for decades to describe when a person finds themselves attracted to another person while intoxicated but not sober. One possible explanation is that alcohol impairs the drinker's ability to detect facial asymmetry. My goodness, this is more than I've ever uh, known or, uh, uh, before about this. Wendy Gregory is a psychologist. Wendy, thank you for joining us on this. Good morning, uh, Peter. What Good morning. do you make of it? Well, there's been lots of studies actually about um, the beer goggles or beauty is in the eyes of the beer holder i think it's the last research was done in about 2012. um they don't they haven't really shown a connection between the the symmetry and asymmetry thing and the levels of attraction but what alcohol does do is it relaxes you and it makes it more likely that you're going to actually approach somebody that you already find attractive. It does also, it, there are some physical effects and um, some facial effects which are unconscious. And as we know, more than 80% of communication is, is nonverbal. So for example, when you drink alcohol, your pupils dilate. Well, as humans, we, without realizing it, we pick up when someone else's pupils dilate. And that is a, can be a sign of desire, of sexual arousal. So if also people, when they've had a few, they tend to be more relaxed, they smile a lot more, they laugh a lot more. Most of us are attracted to people who are smiley faces <laughs> or, you know, are laughing and seem like fun people. But something that I think hasn't been mentioned, which, which I picked up on straight away when I read this story, is that when we've had a few, we tend to be more touchy-feely. Most people are. I don't mean in an inappropriate way, but people tend to want to give you a hug, you know, maybe work colleagues that you wouldn't really hug in the office. And when you touch somebody physically like that, it stimulates the production of oxytocin. And oxytocin makes you bond with people. So you feel more comfortable with that person straight away. And often, you know, it can be a big mistake because with the, the disinhibition, you, you stop reading the red flags you know they become a bit blurred the warning signs so we can put ourselves sometimes in very you know unsafe situations um you know you don't know if that person's going to kill you and turn you into a lampshade when you get back to theirs yes. <laughs> especially if you've never met them before so you know there, there's all kinds of reasons why it might seem that people become more sexually active also um alcohol uh, raises testosterone levels in both males and females and testosterone stimulates sexual desire, so it might make you feel a bit more frisky when you have a few. Goodness me. Okay, well, there are lots and lots, lots of factors there. So beer goggles, perhaps just 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 one of them. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I mean, this is this is fascinating that there is academic research on this that people have been uh, that money has been uh, given to it. Uh, further research is apparently needed to find the missing piece in the puzzle, says the University of Portsmouth. Would you support further research being done into this, Wendy? sure there is a missing piece really peter <laughs> alcohol alcohol reduces cortical control and the cortex is the part of the brain that's responsible for logical thought making sensible decisions that sort of thing and it reduces the ability of the cortex to do that hence people sometimes very regrettably text their boss when they're drunk and call them a see you next tuesday and you know they wake up in the morning Ugh. What have I done? <laughs> it wasn't a good idea, probably. But at the time, it seems like a good idea. 
it might seem like a good idea, you know, to go home with someone you find sexually attractive, but you might not feel the same way in the morning. Very true. Well, we, I'm sure there will be a number of uh, reg people wondering what on earth they were up to tonight. Please be responsible, drink responsibly, uh, but enjoy yourself as well. Wendy Gregory is a psychologist. Um, I don't drink, and in fact, I will be in bed early, uh, Wendy, because I will be uh, presenting Good breakfast to tomorrow between 7 and 10. So it's, it's lonely up here on the moral high ground. Uh, oh. but, uh, but, but At I, least you won't be hungover, Peter. I won't be hungover. I'm, still, I'm struggling with my voice a little bit, but there we are. Wendy Gregory, psychologist, thank you so much.